It took me so long to realize how good he was, but as I got older, I realized this man is the real deal. What's up guys, welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. So I got another Joe Rogan clip for you guys. This one is lead singer of Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of my favorite bands. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's Californication. Anthony, he's on Joe Rogan. This is from a little while ago. It was within the year, talking about how he really came to the realization when he got older how great Elvis actually was. And Joe Rogan for that matter, this is, he talks about the Elvis movie again. And he, really, these last two videos, if you check out the last one where Ric Flair was on his podcast and they were like gushing over how great Elvis was, you really come to the realization that these guys and society are really coming as a whole to their senses to how great Elvis was. You know, I mean, I was watching the, uh, I don't know if you've seen the Elvis movie, the new movie on Elvis. Did not. I, Pretty I, interesting. I have my own movie of Elvis in my head that I didn't want to change. Right. But go ahead. I don't think it'll change it. All right. I mean, it's, you know, it's dramatization. It's obviously Tom Hanks is the colonel. You, you're seeing Tom Hanks. That's it's, decent casting. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Oh, he's great in it. He's great in it. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, it leaves out a lot. kind of glosses over a lot of shit. Um, but you realize that the reaction that these people are having to his music, it's like, and, and everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, they're all on drugs. Like mm. all these women are on drugs. They're screaming, they're throwing panties at them. And back then there wasn't really someone like him before him, you know? So he comes around and they all freak out because it's a new drug. Mm -hmm. And it's this new feeling that you get from this, this creation. This you know combination of artists and music and sounds with the, delivered by this one guy, and he's saying you ain't nothing but a hound dog, and they're all going. That's what I have been. Wild. I think this Elvis movie really accomplished what it was set out to do. That was to rewrite the false narrative about him stealing black music, how he was just a copy, nothing too special. It showed his whole life story, and even the ending where he was overweight and not in good shape, but still giving it 100%, or at least what he could do at the time, you know? Um, people are really realizing how great Elvis was. Check out some of these clips. Elvis was great. It took me so long to realize how good he was. Part of my, my fuel as a teenager in young 20s was just hate of other people's art like mm. ah, we'll show you we'll make something different and better and yeah which is positive it has to happen you have to rebel against that which has come before you at a certain point yeah but as i got older i realized this man is the real deal as was little richard oh, as yeah. were the everly brothers as were all the boys that led up to elvis sure <clears throat> flea and i went to graceland in the early 80s, we were on tour, we were in a van, we hadn't slept on a bed for months. We All we had was the leather jackets on our back and nothing else. But we were like in Memphis playing a show, you know, probably in a barn or something. And we're like, didn't Elvis have a house here? Can't we go like go walk through his house? So we went to Graceland when it was not uh, commercialized. It was a very small little tour. You could walk right through the house, into his cars, the garage. There were no restrictions. And I went in there, and I was so obnoxious <laughs> and so horrible because all these people were just in awe of every little element of Elvis's life. I was like, isn't this where he took a shit on the toilet and like ah. OD'd on pills? And Because I was just a little idiotic punk rocker yeah. who had no broader sense of greatness and how people might be relating to this guy yeah it's just a a stupid little memory i feel embarrassed about but that's who i was at the time well that's so normal for young artists to hate on 
art that they think is uncool or commercial or derivative. Mm-hmm. Like that was the knock on Elvis. He was der- derivative of black culture. But what's he going to do? That's what he likes. You know, he's like he's affected and influenced by those people and he's creating his own music. Like what is he supposed to do? Not do it? Obviously people loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> You I mean, up. but I I get the resentment from those artists. I understand that, but there's there's a thing from young people coming up where you just want to. In the past, I've made some videos um, protecting Elvis and setting the record straight when Joe Rogan would say something stupid about Elvis, like he really wasn't good in karate. Oh, he was just high on pills. Where in the '74 footage, yeah, I think he was a little under the influence, but uh. Now it seems like Joe is really coming to his senses on Elvis. He saw the movie. He brings it up. Um, he even gives uh, some credit to Elvis and sticks up for Elvis about the whole stealing black music thing. That, well, what is he supposed to do? He grew up in the South. He grew up around a lot of black people. Obviously, he was influenced. What is he going to do? Like, not sing something like, like how they would sing some blues? See, Elvis didn't copy anybody. When he was asked, like, at Sun Studio, who do you sound like? He's like, I don't sound like nobody. And that was the truth because he was a mixture of so many things. And I wish the Elvis movie would have covered this a little better. It just wasn't black music that influenced him. It was white country and western. So many different things made Elvis who he was. But I'm happy that uh, everybody is starting to see how great he was. And I think this movie really gave Elvis a lot of sympathy for what he had to deal with regarding his manager. uh, The cards he was dealt. Maybe some of the things that he put up with, like maybe doing the movie stuff too long, even though hindsight is twenty twenty. Elvis is the man, and it's good to see these people give Elvis his props because a lot of people look up to these musicians, like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of my favorite bands, Ric Flair. People listen to them, and then when they see these guys say how great Elvis was, it's going to turn their minds as well. I mean, it. we know how great Elvis is, but it's nice to see other people acknowledging it too. One extra comment I wanna make before I wrap up this video. Anthony talked about in this clip, how he went to Graceland before it was, as he put it, commercialized. He could kinda make his own way around the house, look at the cars, all that on his own. Today there's, you know, tour guides and it's very structured. I kind of, I really wonder what that was actually like, you know, because Grayson was opened in 1982. Priscilla opened it as a way to make money, which I commend her for. It kind of reminds me of when I went there in 2020. I have a video of it that I'll post in the description of this video. It was pretty much my own private tour. I got to, there were some workers there tour guides but they weren't really engaged they were just kind of doing their own thing so i got to pretty much walk around the whole place and it was fantastic so if you want to check out that video see the link down below